started in 2003 and we didn't start um, right away as a band. It was more uh, a project because we were all, the three of us were involved in another band. It was uh, called Voltage back then. And uh, we were satisfied with uh, being in a band and performing and uh, recording stuff, but we all liked uh, music in the vein of black metal and horror stuff going on. So at a certain point we decided to go uh, and rehearse together and, and find some new tunes and new stuff to work with. And that worked out really good. So at the first time, uh, yeah, it was just a project. Yeah. Yeah, uh, very well. It, it, it went very fast uh, the last time. I mean, uh, we started with uh, our first demo, that was the Chase for Tragedy. And uh, then uh, after a while we got Ethereal Real Existence. And uh, when you compare those two, it was a big difference. We were, we were like, okay, you know, uh, when we now get something, we have to make it still bigger. And yeah, we met Melanie Media and uh, we got a great opportunity. And uh, yeah, now we have a CD here. And, it just sounds great and it's way better than the comparisons that you make with the Chase for Tragedy and Ethereal of Real Existence. And uh, yeah, it's only revolving upwards. It's just only going fast. We, we have done it fast since 2003. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. But the main thing that was uh, for me important uh, from the beginning right away was uh, the fact that we can. Uh, uh, be creative within the band. It's not just about the music, but also about uh, interests, uh, movies, uh, checking um, topics together that we really like, and sort of building concept albums, concept CDs, and con yeah. yeah, and songs. And it's not just like sitting there and playing and uh, thinking of a new song and that's it. It's, it's almost a kind of lifestyle. And especially our fantasies. We like horror stuff, yeah. like you said. <coughs> and so, so we go searching and. Yeah, the, the main thing Carr now found, and actually already since the beginning, was mm. ghosts, spirits. Yeah. And that was, uh, yeah, we kind of stayed in there, you know. You see all those horror movies and slasher movies and everything. And the most freaky things, are, to me, are still the uh, things with ghosts. Mm. You've seen back in lots of movies like The Ring, The Grudge, there's a few examples. And fear, yeah, yeah. fear, fear. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's frightening, it's a cool thing. Uh, mm. Anything can happen, you know. But the coolest thing is that uh, when people listen to us, they think maybe oh, it's metal, uh, black metal. But for us, it's more than only just uh, a music style. It's yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's a way of art. Yeah, it's a way of art, creating art and uh, yeah, sharing good times together. Yeah, and that's what we all three yeah. think is important. Uh, I'm gonna mean uh, Miss Iron Jaws. So uh, and it's also uh, yeah taken from Tolkien, and uh, we wrote the the Silmarillion, and I found the word in there. And it's, uh, it sounds evil, Carl. Yeah, yeah, that's the main reason we picked it, I think, right? yeah. because it's Carl mm -hmm. and really yeah, and uh, it has something. Yeah, yeah why not? Uh, I, I think there are lots of people who think from uh, again Tolkien, but mm -hmm. why not? But, I mean, it's a sort of bible to the black, some black metal bands. So. Yeah, I think it's a strong name. And a pretty cool coincidence is that um, Karak Angren is a ghost, um, how do you say it, portal in uh, Tolkien. So that's cool because we yeah. uh, tend to create concepts about ghost appearances and stuff. But it's pure yeah. coincidence. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just a, it's, a, it's a passage. Uh, yeah, it's a, a in ghost Tolkien's passage. Tolkien's story, huh? it's, uh, these are our mountains when you walk through the gate called the Moranon in Moro. And then you get this uh, sort of uh, space, and then yes. the mountains come together, and they look like teeth, and uh, that's why they call it Kar Anga. And now it was back then in the Silmarillion in his first book, or in his earlier book, and later he called it uh, in uh, really in the Lord of the Rings he called it Eisenhower. So uh, that's why few people know of Kar Anga. Mm -hmm. The story of the Lamanam is um, it uh, lies in a little town called Skinveld. It's uh, near where I live, and uh, it's uh, it lies in a wood. It's uh, the only place where I can say it's not uh, you see it as you don't see it as a castle uh, visited by people. It's really uh, 
really old and forgotten. It's lying in the woods and it's just a moat uh, around the castle. The castle was still a castle from many years ago. And um, there was uh, a woman who lived there. Uh, I don't know her real name, but it was called in Dutch the Leifasov. And she fell in love with uh, two guys that she could not choose. And there was one, Jan Willem, and Jan is called Manfred. And uh, he was uh, living close to the border in Germany. It was very close, uh, near to Germany, that she ended up. And um, during the day, she saw Manfred uh, coming with his black horse. And um, they, uh, they dated via a little note. And uh, he wrote poems, love poems. And he, he put those on a tree. And, uh, and when she found that, uh, that's how they came together. And at night, you had young Willem. He came with his carriage uh, on, on his horse, and uh, yeah, that, that's how she met him. And somebody one day found out, and they had a big fight and everything. They hated each other. And on a certain night, no one knew, knew and uh, the castle burned somehow. And if, it, if it was set on fire, nobody knows. And uh, since then, there were French uh, workers, because uh, during that time, it was during the French Revolution. Uh, many workers came here and worked on the fields, and they saw uh, they saw a, an appearance across the, the woods, and it was like uh, Lama, uh, La, what is it, the white lady, they called her the white lady mm -hmm. in French, it was uh, Lama Dame Blanche, and Lama Dame Blanche became later Lama Dame, the Lama Dame. Yeah. The Dutch peasants uh, tend to call yeah. it Lama Dame. Yeah. yeah, and I visited that place, and it was uh, it's a creepy place, you know. Where, that is, it's, it's very strange, I heard lots of it, but you only see the mode now and it's, it's, it's very dark to be there. It's really cool to have it as a concept now. And uh, I think it sounds also evil, like Carl Rang and Lamanda. Mm -hmm. So it's about a white ghost who haunts those woods. And uh, yeah, the yeah. legend still lives on. Yeah, life There still are now people on. talking about it still, uh, who live on the side of the wood. And uh, I think it's cool that it's, it's actually a real place. It's not that we uh, write about something that isn't there anymore, but you can actually visit the place and, and yeah. you can uh, see where the castle used to be. Yeah. Uh, the road really is still there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah.